Hello, welcome to the overview for the UMG Subtitles Hook plugin. So to get started, you're going to want to first download the plugin from the marketplace and make sure it's installed for your engine version. Next, you can go ahead and open Unreal, go to your plugins, and then with it all selected, I'm just going to search for Subtitle. And here's the plugin here. So go ahead and enable this if it's not already on, and then restart the editor if you've just ticked it on. Once you've restarted, uh, just to show you the kind of getting started first before we go into the demo content that's provided. Uh, the way you use it is if you make a new widget blueprint, I'm not going to bother renaming it. And then in your widget blueprint, you've got two new categories in here. Uh, there'll be the subtitle rich text block and the subtitle text block. So it's basically you drag this in and you put it wherever you want it to be. And that's basically it. Now, when you run subtitles in your game, they will, instead of going through the uh, native slate system that Unreal uses, they'll be rerouted into this subtitle here. So you can dress it up however you want. You can apply different fonts, different colors, different sizes. You can expose those out to the settings so that you can have better accessibility options. And the actual text of the content will simply update itself whenever subtitles come in. So yeah, that's the kind of the basics. There's also a rich text block version. And if you're not familiar with how to use rich text blocks, I recommend you read up on them. And that's why we include the normal one if you don't want to go into rich text block stuff. But it's here if you need it. It gives you a bit more control over certain things. And there is a very basic example set provided. So to show you some of the example content, if you go to your view options and go to enable show plugin content and also show engine content, now, if you scroll down quite near the bottom, you should be able to find subtitle hook UMG. There'll be two folders. One's the C++ and one is the standard content folder. So if we open up the maps folder and open this up, just I'm not going to save that example. And in here, if you press play, uh, you will hear it talking and showing some subtitles. So I'm just going to press play and you can see what this does. Welcome to the subtitle hook for UMG. This plugin will leverage the native Unreal Engine subtitle system but root the subtitles into UMG instead of the default slate renderer. Okay, so I stopped it there, but you can see what it does and it goes through a couple of different dialogues there. If you want to see where that blueprinting is done, just go to level blueprint. And basically we've just show a uh, widget. I turn on the mouse cursor and the UI so that we can control it. Um, I've given options for how to do background color and also text sizing. And then it goes through and just plays uh, dialogue 2Ds uh, into the world. And there's a couple of dialogues provided. So if you're not familiar with how um, subtitles work, like the default system of subtitles, you have to have a dialogue voice. And this is the person who's speaking. So I've just set it to feminine singular. And this is uh, Freya. And then we have waveforms for these dialogues. And then I've right clicked on each one of these. And I've created a dialogue using uh, Freya as my subject. And if we open up the lines, you can see that there's the speaker. I've changed the directed app from previously it looks like this, no one, and I've changed it to just none. Um, and again, you can read up on how that you do subtitles. This is just very basic setup. And then in our spoken text, I've gone ahead and used a rich tag, rich text tag. So I've put uh, speaker in the little tags and I've wrote Freya and then we close out that tag and then we put my subtitle in here. So this is also supporting rich text in my example. You don't need to do this. This is just kind of uh, showing you one step further. And then if we go to our blueprints, we've got the UMG that you see, and we've got our um, rich text data table. So if I open this up, I've given row one the tag of default, and I've given it a font size and whatever. And on, on number two, I've given it a row tag of speaker and given it a different font that's yellow. But it's the same font, it's just yellow. So again, this is nothing strictly to my plugin. It's just rich text setup. So you can go ahead and look this up and find much better tutorials on this. Uh, don't learn from me for this. And if you open up the widget itself, um, all that's really going on in here is we have somewhere in here in the scale box here and in the border, we've got a subtitle rich text block going on. And there's nothing fancy. It's basically just been dragged in and all the rest of the UI is just standard Unreal UI stuff. And there's actually nothing done to make the subtitles work beyond the fact that we're using the dialogue voices and subtitles are turned on in our project, which they are by default. Uh, but I'll show you that in a second. There is one additional thing, uh, and it's not plugged in here, 
but if you need it, um, we can take the subtitle rich text block or the subtitle text block. And if you come off it and just type assign or bind, we've got a subtitles received delegate that's provided in the plugin. So if you didn't want it to auto set, there is a variable type on both of them to turn off auto setting. And if I select uh, one of these, like this one, you can see auto set text to subtitle is true and it's true by default. So it just automatically work. But if you don't want that, untick it here in which case you can listen for this delegate to fire instead. So on uh, on construct, which we're using down here, you could wire your on construct up to this bind event, uh, and then it will turn off automatically setting, and instead you'll receive this delegate every time it receives a uh, subtitle request. Now the engine sends it practically on tick, so while there's text coming through, it spams it out on tick. So expect this to fire very frequently which is why we just compare the current thing coming in to the last thing we had come in, and we see if they match. Um, that way it only sends the string once. So it's kind of a, a way of manually doing it if you want it. Now there's no need to use any of this system. Uh, this is purely there as kind of a slightly advanced step if you wanted to do very manual control, like you want your subtitles to actually come on on like a per letter basis or animate them in some more stylized way. This gives you more information about what's occurred and you could have it fade things in and fade things out or more fancy things like that. Uh, but that's basically it. And then all the rest of the blueprint here is just controlling the accessibility. So the font scaling, uh, the background color on the font and just the font scaling. So nothing fancy going on. As I say, the basic approach to this, if you want to use it, is just make a widget drag in either a rich text block or a normal text block, and then use the native subtitle system as normal. So hopefully that's useful, and hopefully that clarifies how the plugin works. It's very simple, it's very basic. Um, it should just, if you like using the native system and not building a whole custom solution for subtitles, this is hopefully a really good answer to your problems. So thanks for watching, and I hope the plugin's useful.